Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can implement WebView in your Flutter application. By using WebView in our mobile application, we can load a website by using the website URL or we can simply load an HTML. So uh, in your Flutter application, if you want to use or uh, if you want to implement a WebView, so we need to add a package in our Flutter application. So first of all, you need to create a Flutter project. And as you can see here, I have already created a new project in which we have a stateless widget. And uh, inside the stateless widget, we are returning a material app. And in home, we are adding the home page. And the, our home page is a stateful widget, OK? And uh, to get the package, uh, for web view just simply open up your browser and type up dot dev and uh, search for web view here web view and scroll a little bit down and as you can see here we have a web view underscore flutter and the popularity is 100 percent so click on this we will be using this in this video and go to the installing and i will show you a simple and easy way to install a uh, package or dependency in our flutter application just simply uh, copy this command from here i will just using i will be using the control plus c and open your android studio and open your terminal and pass this this command in your terminal and hit enter so by entering this command it will add the dependency in your flutter project and if we if we go to our configuration file which is pubspec.yml and as you can see here we have a webview underscore flutter this this package is added by that command okay so i will just simply cl click on this pub get okay so it is good and we will close this and now we will uh we will add a scaffold here scaffold and inside this scaffold we will add an error and let me zoom this code we will use the error a b a bar inside this error we will be using a title and title will be a text widget as you know and i will just simply call it web view app okay because we are using web view in this application and inside the body we will be adding the web view so simply type web view and as you can see here this is a web view widget so enter it and first of all we need to add a url so type initial url initial url and inside this initial url i will be passing my website url okay so uh, you can pass any url here uh, which you want to load in your application so this is just an example and this is my website URL and I will just simply copy it from here and I will paste it here and to enable the JavaScript from here so simply type JavaScript more and simply type JavaScript JavaScript more with capital script with capital J JavaScript more dot unrestricted okay uh, this one I think unrestricted okay this one the first one the uh, package uh, flutter web view okay so simply type here and now i will run this application okay guys so here we have an error and the error is we need to we need to update the kotlin version in this project so we will get the latest kotlin version from this link find the latest version on this link and we will click on this and uh, the latest version of kotlin is this one 1 1.6.21 so don't worry about this i will show you how to remove this error just to uh, close this and i will go to my project and go to the android module okay as you can see here the android one and open this build.gradle and here on the top of this uh, page on line number two as you can see here the kotlin underscore version so simply change this to the latest kotlin version and now if i run the application so i hope so the error will be gone okay guys so as you can see here uh, this is our web view and it is loading our website and if i click on this menu so it will open this menu and if i close this and if I scroll it down, so it shows. Uh, 
all the posts here in the website okay so that's how we can implement the view in our flutter application and now if i click on this post so it will open it and as you can see here this is a detailed post here and if i click on this back button so it should uh, it should go uh, back but it will close the application as you can see here it closed the application so in the next video i will show you how you can implement the back option in your uh, web view in your flutter application so that's it for this video guys and if you like this video please share this video with your friends and if you are not subscribed to my channel so please subscribe to my channel and also uh, turn on the bell notification option so you won't miss the upcoming videos